<clears throat> back and I'm back and I'm back and I'm back. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Star Camp checking in one time for the one time. How y'all doing? How's everybody quarantining, quarantining and chilling? This is another convo starter with your boy Young Starter. All right. Um, I will have a special guest on this live today. Um, I was actually previously previous to the live. I was checking out some new music and adding new music to our Dirty Daily playlist called The List. Um, so if you are an artist, new artist, um, established artist, either or, it doesn't necessarily even matter. And you want to get your song on the list? Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? And and if and if if you send it to me directly, you could be on the list as quick as today. Um, but I'm about to have a special guest in the building by the name of Young Euro. Um, Young Euro is uh, is an artist from. The A, I believe. Um, and we've been listening to some of his new music on the Dirty Daily Front. Um, is Young Euro in the building? Young Euro. I see a lot of people checking. Okay, Young Euro's in the building. Lil Cap Mustafa's in the building. BCG. BCG Hard is in the building. Natural Born Finesse's Mamager is in the building. Young Euro's fan page is in the building. Young, shout out to Young Euro's fan page checking in. Jay Darb is in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, everybody checking in, checking in, checking in. All right. So, yeah, man, um, Young Euro, based in Atlanta. Young Jit, you know what I'm saying? Jit coming up, and, and he's putting his moves together. Uh, you know, new artist based out of Atlanta. Um, and we're going to check out his new project, see what he got coming. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, ask him some questions about this new project. Um and, and get in his business a little bit, all right? Let me see. The young Euro will make a request. There you go. There you go. I was checking in. They love to call you. Are you day one on? I'll start a camera. All right, Dan. What up, young Euro? What it do? What it do? What it face do? Mask. See, you got mine too, dog. Corona. Hello. It's a little corny. You're a designer, though. You, you got your own designer to design out. That's hard. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the National Marks and that's up here. Okay. Oh, so you got your own clothing line. We're going to talk. We're going to get into that. For, first and foremost, let me give you a introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I got my dog in here, straight from Atlanta. Young Euro is in the building. Rapper, artist. What's uh, the 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 world. Tour. He do his own production. He do his own mixing and mastering. Of course, as you can see, he has his own clothing line, stockholder. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into all that business. But first and foremost, welcome, brother. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Convo Starter, man. Appreciate you for having me. I greatly appreciate you for taking your time and having me on your show. Nah, for sure, dog. Now, so, so first and foremost, Young Euro, where'd you get the name from? The name really had came... Uh, a long time ago, my name used to be uh, Peasy, and that was based off my real name, which is Perry. But um, I had heard of a rapper from up north a long time ago with the name Peasy, and uh, one day, me and my dog, we were just sitting around like, like I got to change my name because I can't have nothing that anybody else got. Like, this is early on in my career. Right. And then we were just, he was like, what you want to do? Like, wh where you want to go with it? Like, I'm like, we're going global. He like, yeah, so you want doing Euros? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so boom. I had went online, searched up uh young Euro, nobody popped up. Right. I'm like, let's go. It was up from there. That's now that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And Euros are definitely just a quick fact check, Euros are definitely the most expensive currency in the world, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know that now you <laughs> So um so we got a young Euro in the building. First and foremost, man, how did you how did you Get into music, you know what I mean? Like, cause you do all these great things, man. Like, we're not gonna we're not gonna pitch it home, cause you do a lot of great things, and we know music kind of count it, it counters itself with everything that goes on in the world. Um, but but you do all these other great things. But how did you get into music? I really had got. I always been musically inclined, so I always been doing something to do with music ever since I was little. Mm. The uh, craft came a little further on as I got older. And then I started like taking rapping more seriously. Right. Around middle school and like junior high, uh, I had started recording with my partner. He DJ right. now. But oh. um we just was on uh Cool Edit Pro every day after school. Cool then edit. we'll get on the bus. Cool edit, you feel me? That's crazy. Then we'll get on the bus and uh play the songs on the bus for everybody in the back of the bus, whatever. 
So you was in the back of the bus playing the music. Went up from there. Went from the backpack kid, you know, rapping at the back of the bus, you know, cool edit pro. People who people who for people who don't know what cool edit pro, go Google it. I can't explain what cool edit pro is, but you a real hustler and you a real grinder from the bottom yeah. that was making your songs on Cool Edit Pro. That's like the new day and age of uh people making their songs on Garage Band now, pretty much. You feel what I'm saying? And, yeah. and yeah. that shows your diligence too though. That shows your diligence. So you've always been you've always been the type of person to, you know, figure it out. You know what I mean? And and make ways where there is no ways. Because you couldn't go to the studio at that time. You was in school. You had to go to hey, school. Hey man. You know, you know what's going on? I get you it. You know what's going on. We I respect it. it. I can respect the hustle. So, um, quarantine time is, is is among us, of course. So, how have you been holding up during the quarantine? Like, what have you been doing? What are some new things that you've learned um, about yourself during quarantine? I ain't even gonna count. The quarantine has taught me a lot more about approaching the business during the music. Like, I've mm -hmm. always been business minded and uh, pride myself on getting to know the business more and more every day. But during the quarantine, it really helped me realize, like, it's really levels to everything. Like, right. and you have to realize, like, some levels are harder than other ones. And if you don't know, then you really don't go. So Come you on. really got to teach yourself. Right. Come on with the message. If you don't know, you don't go. That is from Young Euro himself. Hey, now, listen, so you got into this business, man. And you started to see that, you know, even with quarantine going on, you started to see that there was some 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 things that you needed to do. What was the first thing that you told yourself, I need to do this in order to get on? Like, what 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 was that first thing you told yourself? I'm going to say one thing, and this is going to cover everything else. You got to pay to play in the music industry. That's crazy. I mean, and see, when you say you got to pay to play in the music industry, you know what? You, you know, that goes into terms with it, realistically any industry. Because um, in order to be a doctor, you got to go to school, and school costs money. You know what I'm saying? So when you want to be in the music industry and you say you got to pay to play, it's the same thing. Like, if you want to get the knowledge you need in order to, to succeed in this business, you got to, you know, pay for some pay for some information because information is valuable. Um, and I can respect that when you say that because – you you've taken it you've taken the time for yourself to actually invest in yourself and put towards um good forth bringings because now you of course you got your own business you got your clothing line you mix and master um all your all your um all your own music that in itself is saying a lot about you man like how did you how did you how did you get into your your entrepreneurial uh skill set like with you having stocks like you got you got you holding stocks bro like a lot of rappers don't hold stocks and a lot of rappers a lot of people don't even know what what stocks are so explain how you got into stocks did it freeze i had one of the um uh oh we didn't have a well, shout out to everybody that's checking in while it's froze. Hold on, hold on, and make sure I got Euro back. Euro, you here? Can you hear me? Nah, young man's a smart dude, y'all. It's the Wi Fi that ain't that smart. It's the Wi Fi, right? I like catching up. My phone. Look, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to have you log back on. I'm going to take you off, and I'm going to have you log there. back on. But it's like. So we getting technical difficulties, of course. That's what happens when you in a quarantine. Shit like that gonna happen. Shout out to everybody that's checking in. This is a convo starter. Shout out to everybody checking in. Um, you know, I'm gonna do a lot more of these. So if you're an artist or you're an individual, you got a platform, you want something to say, you want to use my platform to get your word out there. Holler at me in the DM or shoot me a um, shoot me a follow on my Instagram at Starter Camp. I'm about to put a quick caption in here so y'all know what the hell's going on when you join in. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend that you was at the Convo Starter with Convo Starter. You did. Yeah, I'm going by a new name. I ain't on Starter Camp right now. I'm Convo Starter. You did. Talking that talk. Um, big Euro checking in. We talking We talking stocks. We talking big money. We ain't talking little money. We talking big money over here. So, um, 
I need everybody to check in with me. I'm about to put this quick caption in here. Shout out to everybody that's checking in. This live is going up, y'all. I appreciate everybody checking in. Young Euro's back. We're about to go back live, all right? One Swayze checking in. Natural Born Finesse is in the building. Shout out to all the Natural Born Finesse. Uh, Finesse is in his mouth. Oh, yeah, hey, so, yeah, man, what I was asking you before, um, before we had the technicals, um, asked me about, like, being an entrepreneur. And... And being that you being going back to what you just said, having to pay to play, um, basically making an investment, you know, and 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 seeing fruition from your investment, man. Like there's a there's a there's a uh, there's an acronym called ROI that may, many people need to know about. You know what I'm saying? If you know what an ROI is, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop them gems. Them gems is for a whole nother day. We're talking music right now, but the ROI is important. So if you want to Google something that's gonna help you in your future, <laughs> this ain't. Everest, but we're gonna give you some knowledge, all right? So uh, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Uh, we got young Euro checking in, and we're talking stocks and bonds. So how did you get? How did you get into um like as a rapper how did you get into that? Like you were always you were always doing the music, of course. But what led you to believe that getting into stock was gonna help you? It was. <clears throat> it's always bigger, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's always what you make it. You can always start something, and or you can keep building on it, right? No matter what it is. Facts, facts, and 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 when you have when you have like you know when you have a a, a, a platform that you can use to of course grow your leverage, um, keep building on the song that I had made, and make a brand. Somebody trying to call. Every time you talk to him, they calling the man while he on the live because he live. I don't get it. Like, y'all let the man have the live convo started, man. We having a convo right now. All right, so we get it. We we know that you you uh you you are you you are got you've gotten your place yourself to a place where now you can put out some decent music. Now you're doing shows. What inspired this this new single that you got right now? We're talking about Bank now. We're talking about Bank, the new single Bank. So Young Girl had to jump out real quick. What I'm going to do because uh, we having some technical difficulties with the uh, with the Instagram feed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to YouTube, right? I'm gonna play some new music from Young Euro. That's what we gonna do. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that's what we do over here at Dirty Daily. We highlight the new artists and we highlight the artists that are uh, that are coming up. You know what I'm saying? If you on your way up, you on your way out of there. This is the platform for you. All right, this is Young Euro new single, Title Bank. All right, get into it. Four PM Chess checking in. What up, Chess? I've been popping my shit, so I just gotta check it. Went straight to the bank. I'm going crazy when I'm shopping, rocking outside, but the sign of me shit like the same. I kick big shit like hey hey, so this guy get brain hey hey. Only talking to the feds if it hit the ends. Put my name on the line for the obvious. Stuff in bands and I'm a fucking.
So that was Young Euro's new single, Bank. All right. I'm going to jump off and jump back on with Young Euro in a minute. We're going to finish this convo start, and we're going to kick it like that. Make sure you follow The Real Young Euro. Also, follow Starter Instagram. This is the 